Hey there, Scorpio. I'm back. I'm back to bring you something really cool. I hope you like it. Um, this is Robin from Robin's Realm Readings. Thank you for the, my subscribers. And those, you know, like my videos so we can keep it on. Okay, guys. And as I've told you before, I'm a Scorpio. Hey. So I get you. All right. Listen, um, I'm here to bring you a unique reading. It's called a serenity reading if you've never had one. It's kind of interesting because it helps you to find out where your mind and your spirit and your heart are and what you need to do to help yourself. But before I read these, um, these are the sun and moon tarot cards. They're very simple. I'm going to bring you a goddess guidance oracle card, male or female. It really doesn't matter. The energies are the energies. The purpose is the purpose. The point of this is to help you to connect with yourself better. So for May 15th to the 30th, I believe that's the date, I'm reading you a serenity reading. I hope you like it. Hey, don't forget to comment if you like my readings. If you don't like them, don't say anything. Because I'm not going to care anyway. I'll probably delete it. I'm not in here for rosy colored glasses, but I'm not going to put up with crap either. Because, you know, we're Scorpio. Right? I'm here giving you a love offering. And thank you for coming in, coming back and visiting me. So the, uh, the goddess card for you is Artemis. The goddess oracle card is Artemis, the guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. It's very much like your own energy, really. You don't, uh, you don't, Scorpios don't, uh, we're kind of watchers and we like to know the details and we want to know where you're coming from and you know what I mean? So being the Scorpios are very close to like yin yang to me, very yin yang, uh, male, female, powerful and sensitive, um, kind and cruel, just all of the above. But, let's see what Artemis says to you, okay? This is your, your goddess card is Artemis. Like me, you have a sacred mission to spread love and light. Yet, this isn't a position that comes from tension or worry. Instead, the gentle essence of a joyful heart and a lighthearted laughter sets your power into motion. Why would there be any tension in your mind or system unless you believed that you were somehow unsafe? <clears throat> and how could you be unsafe when you've called upon the spiritual warriors to watch over you? Your prayers have activated the flawless protection of heaven. So ease your mind of all cares and concerns and concentrate instead upon your holy mission. Oh, snap. That's good. Ooh, that couldn't be better if I tried. Scorpio. So, yeah, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you don't know, if you haven't seen your chart and you want to see your chart, you can go to several sites, but the one I use is, for a quick reference, is astrotheme.com. Astrotheme.com and it pulls up the daily thing. You can go to Ast many of them. I mean, Astro Cafe, um, Astrology Answers. You can go about anywhere. There's so many of them. You could look it up. But Astro Theme pulls up your whole chart, like bam. And, and it's based just exactly on you. And it tells you where all your houses are, how it affects you. You can click on each one of those things and a box opens up on the top and it brings out details and analogies of what it means to be in that exact position in your birth chart. There's so much more to you than a birth chart. There's so much more to you than tarot. There's so much more to you than even what you see, hear or know. We're going to find out what the energies want to tell you. This is for Scorpio, last half of May, Serenity, how to find your peace of mind, how to get through what you're going through, how to look at things alternatively. Uh-oh, wait a minute, card flipped. We don't do flip cards like that and unless they are divinely guided to come out. Sorry about that, you guys. One more. 
no more. Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising. Serenity. Spirit and guides. Serenity for Scorpio for the last half of May. And I haven't told you that I love you. And I do love you. I love you guys so much. All right, let's see what we get for you, okay? All right. I'm going to put them down like this. This is the foundation. This is what's covering your serenity. This is um, a healing card. This is an external card. Pull this up just, just a second. I need space, dude. Gotta have space. Uh, this is an internal card, and this is a revelation card. Let's see what we got underneath. We got the universe, the world card. Um, you got the world card. You know, the world card is so powerful. It represents like the portal you go through when something is ended and you've gone through it. And once you've gone through it, something new starts again. And that's the way that works. I'll put that right here. So let's take a look at your reading, Scorpio, okay? Seven of Cups. It's an emotive card, okay? It's a water card, just like you. Water, emotion, deep, deep, deep water. The problem with this energy, I'm going to make it very clear to you, that this is the card that you're going overboard in one direction or the other emotionally. You're not making a clear decision you don't have a full moon here, so there's like to see. It's kind of a mischief. Um, and to that I say, knock it off. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. I'm a Scorpio. So this is where you're allowing yourself. This is why you don't have serenity, because you haven't made a decision. What you actually going to do, you, you're going to have to. Um, hmm. Seven of Cups. No. You can't have many, many relationships, I mean, that are really, really foundational and firm. How are you going to have peace of mind when you can't decide, you know, make a decision or something? You're covered by the strength card, um, the nine, oh, wait a minute. This is a nine of wands. I think I know why you're having trouble making a decision. Because the nine of wands is where you feel like you have to do everything for yourself. Every single thing. And you're carrying a lot. It's a fire card. By the way, you could have a fire sign in your life, or you could have fire in your chart, uh, which is um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And that's not a bad thing. But you have to decide how you're going to relate with these people. Ask them for help uh, if you need to. Okay, so this is the advice on how to heal, whatever it is, or decide whatever it is. How to make whatever this changes. You got the justice card. This is a major arcana. So you got two major arcanas here. Um, yeah. Justice is the balancing. It's where you finally feel balanced. Emotionally, spiritually, physically, um, socially, internally, externally. Make sure that you, what goes in goes out. Remember that, you know, the laws of the universe. What goes in goes out. What goes up goes down. What goes round and round. You are your temple. You are. <laughs> you're it. And there is no one on the face of the earth exactly like you. You have to handle this yourself. But you need to ask for help. If this fire signs in your life, Ask them for guidance and help. Help them take some of this burden off. You have justice. This tells me you're going to have a very good outcome for whatever you put your, your mind to, whatever you do. This is an external card. It's the Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift from the heavens of uh, <clears throat> financial well-being, grounding in relationships, uh, career, hope, peace, You'll have peace because you'll have a little prosperity coming. This is news of something good coming your way. Financial abundance. Uh, but it's a start of something new. So this is in you investing in your own serenity. All right? 
And this is your internal card, the Nine of Pentacles. Well, hello, because you listened to your inner guides, you went ahead and made the changes necessary for yourself. You stood. You are. You are spiritually grounded. You're taking care of your own business. You're asking for help. You're asking for help, and you're getting it. And the universe and divine and God hears you. Okay, please don't carry the world by yourself. Ask for help. The Nine of Pentacles is absolute abundance. Um, you could be attracting a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus in your space as well to help you. They could even be your yoga teacher. I don't know. Whatever it is, this is a serenity reading. So, Scorpio, um, you got to do it. You got to take care of yourself. You got to make changes. And we're ruled by Pluto, so hey, we're used to changes and transformation. But let's choose what we want to change. Let's choose what we want to have, invest in. Choose you. Okay? And you'll be very, very abundant. And the revelation card for you is strength. You have the strength card, another major arcana. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. The universe is bringing about justice because you have inner strength and you have the strength to ask for help when you need it. You have the strength to discipline yourself. Pray. Meditate, ask for help and support, and by God, you'll get it. The universe loves you. You are loved, loved, loved by the divine, and you are loved, loved, loved by me. If you like my readings, and you're, inter you're interested in, or you need a reading, I'm here for you. I'd be happy to help you to search in your own walk, in your own path, and see if you can't, can't get a little more clarity. Um... If you like that, contact me at Robin's Realm Readings at gmail.com. Again, Robin's Realm Readings at gmail.com. Let me know. Contact me. Uh, just even if you have questions, just let me know. Email me. Let me know. My website is Robin, Robin's Realm Readings.com. Yeah, I know it's a lot of words, but I went with your wellness tarot and they wouldn't let me use it. So that's a shame. But I'm still here for your wellness. Okay, Scorpio, this is for the last half of May. Find it within yourself. Ask for help. Trust God. Trust the universe. Trust the divine. Have strength. Accept your brand new course of action. It's all up to you, my divine loves. You have abundance. This is financial, too. You have abundance. Take care of yourselves. Blessings from Robin's realm. Bye.